Uh, could I address this Al Qaeda nonsense? Um, yeah, if you want. And there was a video put out about a bunch of flat earthers get it astonishingly wrong. I think was the uh, the name of the video by this gentleman here. No. Where are we? You're on. Simon Dan, right? No, you mean no Simon Dan? There's no Si in his conversation. He just rejects the evidence and distorts it to suit his narrative. Do you know? Can I just say, Ranty, before you do? Nathan and I discussed whether we should even talk about this, and we came to the conclusion that we weren't going to mention it because we didn't really want to promote him. So well, yeah, you, you can mention it if you want. But yeah, I'm happy to just congratulate Alk on providing the most astounding flat Earth proof that I've seen from any ball earther in recent times. Honestly, and I'm going to prove it right now. I agree. Um, so obviously, here we have his observation from 30.9 miles away there is one that was a lot further 39 miles away i think he got down to about a foot in elevation but as you know everything you know things converge at the horizon and it was pretty smudged at that distance so something that was a 30 mile 31 mile is always a good good viewing position to to get some data from so essentially from that distance 552 feet of the mountain should be hidden right so if I show you, this is the high elevation, right? So he went up to an elevation of over 300 feet, much nearer, and he was able to see right down to the little piece of land at the bottom here where the, uh, the lighthouse is on. So this is from his high elevation. This is what it looked like. Now I'm going to go through some points of interest on these two um observations so this is from the distance uh it's 30.9 miles away and this is the high observation right so i'm going to be looking for points of interest because obviously they don't look the same on the, on first glance right so on the next thing we know what we need to do is we need to find common ground to make sure that what what we're looking at is the same part of the mountain and how much of the mountain we're actually seeing so i've highlighted some um positions here on the two images that are a very, very, very close match. Okay. On the next point, we have um, a little ledge that comes across to the right here. I wonder if we can zoom in on that. No, you're all right. Keep it like that. It's good. We can see all right, it. Okay. Uh, where are we? So, all right, one, two. So we have a little ledge that comes across here and we have a little ledge that comes across here. So there's a match in the same locations too. The next point is obviously this very clear uh, piece of rock on the side of the mountain that is evident here as well. And if you look at how they're all, all three are in relation to each other, um, height wise and position left and right, they're all identical. Uh, the next point of interest is the far right hand side where this uh, drop comes right off and curls out right at the bottom. This drops off and curls off right at the bottom, just the same on the two on the two um, images. Next point of interest, a little slightly more subjective, but what you've got to realize is that he has a, he's, he is actually doing it from a, a different location. So although they match up, uh, they're not yeah, as, as clear as the rest. There's a small element of rotation because he's in a, he's on a slightly different angle. Exactly. Yeah. So like this little rock here um, isn't evidenced on the little on the side here, but that's just because he's from a slightly different angle, as you've just quite the, uh, correctly pointed out. There's the ledge that comes out here. There's the ledge that comes out there, and there's the side of the rock, side of the rock, and lastly we have again this uh, little piece of land at the bottom, and a little piece of land at the bottom here. Right. Yeah. Now, if you take that as a whole, right. Forgetting the fact that because this was done at distance, obviously it's compressing it, so it's going slight. It's being squashed slightly. That's the and point, though. But it's compressing it, and if you can, the best illustration of the compression is seen in that bottom right-hand corner box. Look at the difference in the height, but it's the same profile. Exactly, exactly. This is this is the most clear evidence that it's the same image, complete image of the same thing seen at different um, distances, right? Now, the distance to this one is 30.9 miles. This is from elevation, so he's looking down on it slightly. He's looking at it from 300 feet high. This one's looking at it from essentially like three feet. Um, so he is going to have a different perspective view. Um, anyway, next point. Uh, the height of um, Ailsa Craig, 
within a, f a few feet is the height of two Blackpool Towers. You could stack two Blackpool Towers, one on top of the, each other. Um, what I've done here... So Black um, Blackpool Towers, 518 feet tall, so double that would be 1,036, and it's 1,136, so it's 100 feet short, correct? Correct, yeah. But for illustration points, I've just put two Blackpool Towers in just to make this demonstration. We have... 552 feet hidden, which is greater than the height of Blackpool Tower. So I've put a dotted line in here that goes across. And essentially, all this underneath where it says 552 hidden, that should all be gone. Which means if I go back through uh, the list of... Oh, let's go back to that one, actually. So if I go back to these, that would mean that everything beneath this point that matches up is wrong. Right? That's what. That's essentially what it is. Yeah. Either this is wrong, all these matchings up are correct or wrong, whichever way you choose to, to make it. But this point here, right, and the point at the top are the two most compelling points for me to give a, a, a position of um, what we're actually looking at on, on these images. This point here and this point here. It's quite um, a demonstrandum. You got it dead right. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've got it dead right. Um, and, and basically, all this should be gone. All of this should be gone, right? And lastly, uh, this is the Ardrossan elevation. Where's this Burke? This Burke, this group of flat earthers get it astonishingly wrong. Yeah. He's, this is his impression of how much we're seeing from distance, right? This is this Burke's impression. This flat, this bit on the top, right? And said, that's what we've seen from the 39 mile observation, right? Well, that can't be true, because from the 30.9 elevation point, all this matches up perfectly. Yeah. But what Granted, he's done is he's essentially a shrunk down the size of the top image, which is from a couple of feet, and sort of squashed it onto the top, like it's uh, ice cream on top of an ice cream cone. Yeah, um, it's exactly what he's done. Here. Ranty? Yes? Could you do us a favor? Could you dig out his video and find and just show my comment on his video? Well, that's the exact point I made. And I just said what he's done. If he classes that as a match for an overlay that's supposed to be the same, he's blind as a bat. But I don't think he, I think he realizes that that's not that. I, don't, I think he honestly realizes that that doesn't match, but he's pushed it anyway. Well, what you've got to consider is that first Al K did his lowest observational height at one foot not three feet or five feet or 10 feet. He did it at one foot elevation from the furthest distance, 39 miles. Now that is going to compress the height of the image. We know that from our own observations, what it does, it squashes it. Um, and he has used this unclear 39 mile image, uh, which is pretty difficult to make out anything of interest on this particular image, which is why I used the 30.9 mile distance one, because it was much clearer. You know, this, this one was far clearer to work on and compare it with than, than the one that he used. But what he's done is he's taken that unclear image um, and he slaps it on the top of the, <laughs> of the high elevation profile and said, this is a match. And it's, it's nothing like a match at all. Yeah. Ranty, just uh, can you dig out his, um, my, my comment on this thing and just read my comment? It's exactly what you've put, but then look at his response to it. His response to my comment is ridiculous. Um, let's see. Let's have a look down here. Let's see if you're... How far, how far down is it going to be? Going. Miles Davis. I haven't seen him yeah. around for months. It would have seen, seen me still around. I don't think that's a real Miles. Might be anyway, but keep going, keep going. I'm going, I'm going. It was about three days ago. Right, okay. Well, all I'm seeing is here, there's a lot of people commenting. And they patting him on the back. He's got a lot of likes, uh, hardly any dislikes, course, which you'd expect. Okay. You'd expect that. Yeah. Um, but essentially, he's got it so wrong. Al K's got it so wrong. Yeah. But the... I can't even. I can't... There's no other comments actually. Was it a primary you comment, or was it a response to somebody? It might have been on Nathan's one. If you go to Nathan's one, uh... I may have followed on from Nathan's one. Yeah, Nathan, that's 16 yeah. views. Uh, right, there sleeping right. worry, right? Read that. Simon Dan, so about that drop value and the hidden value overlay oh, matched about as well as fitting curtains to a ball. My point is the mountain should be stop, missing. Stop, 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 stop. Hill Elfind is safe. You don't need to kick him, anybody. Go on. Uh, 
Can't you geometry dude? Your shite overlay proves your nonsense is wrong. Why don't you focus on the overlay a little better? Yeah, I mean, essentially, he put this video out pretty quick. He obviously did absolutely no research in it. Yeah, but he look didn't... at his response. Read his response. Everyone can see it matches pretty much perfectly. Okay. I would disagree. I would disagree. Uh, your point was that the first image was the whole mountain, which you can clearly see it isn't. Right. Uh, well, like I said, you can't really tell what, you, what you're seeing on the 30.9 image. Let's be honest. It is quite difficult. And my, and my point in, in response to um, Al K was that any of it is even seen, not necessarily some of it or all of it, although my position is you can see all of it. My point originally is that none of it should be seen at 39 miles away because of the drop value that puts the base of the mountain that's bigger, high, uh, the, the, the drop value is greater than the height of Elsa Craig. That puts the whole thing behind it. Yeah. All of it. And on this diagram here, half of this... Half of this image at the top should be gone. Half of it, all this lower stuff. I mean, like you correctly said, this point here is so clear. So, so clear. Uh, and this point here is clear. Just, yeah, I mean, this guy's got it so wrong. Yeah, he has. But the thing is, if he was correct, I would be on the baller side. I would be saying, Simon Dan, you're the man. You've got this so right. Riley and crew have got it wrong. They, they're, they're, they're idiots. But he's completely got it wrong, but he won't even accept it. But that compression point on the right hand side, the two boxes you've got on the right hand side, mm -hmm. is proof that it's flat, regardless of how much you've seen, because it shouldn't converge like that on a ball. It should drop and only drop. It shouldn't converge, which is now it's it's perfect for Hillel Finder to come in because he disputes that we even see the not the like the land at the north of Isle of Man, even though we again see compression and convergence in the evidence. Whether it's you can argue that the land is the land. Uh, or not the land. I, I don't. It's moot. The point is, it matches the composite image, and it's squashed. And the only explanation for that is that we live on a plane. Regardless of whether it's the same amount or not, the only explanation is a compression squashed at the horizon of the land that matches both elevations is proof that it's a plane, regardless of how much you've seen. Well, you let's have a look. look. 182 likes, 34 dislikes. Okay. And it's all... Horse manure. Yeah. So I'm going to dislike it. There we go. And Simon, and Simon, Dan, we deliberately didn't respond to this video because, to be honest, you're too stupid to understand the facts that you're looking at, the evidence that you're looking at. And we didn't want to promote you, but seeing as O'Ranty's now essentially done it, we Riley, might well destroy Riley. it. What, what was it what, what, calcul what calculator are you using? Was it necessary to interrupt me then, Al? Well, you said all calculators were bunkum at the weekend. That's correct. So I was going to make that correction, actually, Alan. So well pointed out. What Ranty has done, fair enough mistake, is he's just used the original totally fallacious, not accounting for angular reduction in size calculator. And Anthony's just pointed that out. He said that it should